friends, it's time again for another Friday Fun Fact, where I'll send you a neat little zip file of information that you may not have known before. This week, we're celebrating Ada Lovelace Day by learning more about her and how she became known as the first computer programmer. Let's go. Ada Lovelace had the misfortune to be born Augusta Ada Byron, as in Lord Byron, as in the man who gives all romantic poets a bad name. For a little more context, Lord Byron was a writer in the Romantic period, most famous for writing Don Juan and having a staggering amount of... indiscretions. So you can see why when Lord Byron left not one year into Ada's life, Ada's mother wanted to keep her away from that romantic shenaniganery as much as possible, which she did, by focusing Ada's talents into math and science. Ada thrived in this environment, and it all paid off in 1833 when Ada Lovelace met Charles Babbage, who became somewhat of a mentor to her. Charles Babbage was the mathematician and inventor who conceived the first digital computer, called the Analytical Engine. He devised the engine using punched cards, based off of the Jacquard loom cards, where a hole was punched where the design wasn't, and then used to determine the placement of the warp threads in the loom. Babbage took that idea and thought of the cards as a way to relay information on how to perform mathematical operations. While this machine was never made, it's the core idea from which modern computers were born. Punched versus not punched became ones and zeros. To say that Ada was quite taken with the analytical engine would be an understatement. She loved the idea, especially the idea of using the punched cards. Jacquard looms were a massive invention when it came to fabric making. It made creating intricate designs easier, faster, and repeatable. So too would this be for algebraic designs. Ada Lovelace ended up translating and annotating an article by the Italian mathematician Luigi Federico Menabrea. This was based on Babbage's presentation about his work when he visited Italy in 1840. Ada's translation was thorough, but it was her annotations that made her famous. Within those annotations, Lovelace writes out how to use the analytical engine to produce the Bernoulli numbers, a set of rational integers derived by numerous, very complicated formulas. Suffice to say, many people mark this as the first computer program. However, many people disagree, saying that while she may have written the directions, she did not devise the engine herself. In any case, her influence has made her a role model for many women in the STEM fields. It shows that women, given the support and training necessary, can excel in any field they choose. Which leads us to Ada Lovelace Day. Annually, the second Tuesday in October, it celebrates all women in STEM and seeks to support those who are considering those fields as a career. According to its website, FindingAda.com, it usually features what they call a science cabaret, where women in STEM are invited to talk about their work. This year, they put that aside for safety's sake and focused their efforts on raising support and awareness online. Check out their website for more info about past celebrations and future efforts. As usual, I use the Encyclopedia Britannica, so if you'd like to dive deeper, here are my search terms. You can find the link to it on our e-resources page at laglib.org forward slash e-resources. I suggest learning more about Lord Byron. His life story is ridiculous, and I both hate and love him for it. If you'd like to learn more about the history of computers, check out these books. They're all in our library system. Like and subscribe for more Friday Fun Facts, and I'll see you next week.